my babies welcome back before i told you i wasn't it but today i'm lit anyways guys i've got a special guest you know anytime i bring people i always say special because i mean they've done a lot to my life what is it this guest <laughs> this is my og like oh one oh god day one anyways i'm not going to talk too much i'll let him introduce himself Yo, 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 what's up, Nigeria? What's good, everyone? My name is Kenny Ajishafe, popularly known as, or known as Kenny AJ. AJ Fon, <laughs> see, anywhere you see him, eh? Bill play, him. Play, 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 play. Bill him, he has money, you <laughs> guys, he has money. <laughs> Anyways, guys, today we're going to be getting to know Kenny. Mm. Kenny is an actor, he's a lot. But then you see that main thing he's an actor you know because like i said we've been friends for over four years so i yeah. know that i'm in the same department so still i know that so you guys i'm going to be asking kenny a few questions or a lot of questions or few whichever i'm ready i'm ready you're yeah, ready <laughs> sharp okay guys we'll be starting with our first question so kenny Amanda. <laughs> Tell us a little about your background. Well, <clears throat> it's no news that I'm a graduate of theater and film, Redeemers University. Sure. I am an actor. I'm a national, I mean, a two time national award winning actor, a brand ambassador, a socialite, and as my guys will say, a lifestyle nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's who I am. Okay. You guys, you've seen. Oh God, when I say I know people, God, thank you for putting these people in my life. That's right, Kelly, so that in case, when Kelly blows, you just be like, one call, when Alpha Amanda Amanda blows. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha Amandi, Alpha, Alpha, I guess some kind of things, but <clears throat> ah, God, oh, that's my guy. Two times award winning national, national award no be chairs no be small no be clear Bye. you guys watch out for him he's coming anyway so now i want to ask what inspired you to study theater art and like how did mm. school especially with image university how did it shape your career as an actor well initially uh, i didn't want to study in this course at all because I wanted to go into music. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a lot of fun with music and musical instruments right from like way, 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 way back. Then my parents were like, oh, if you do music, like, it's not just, it's not enough. Like, why don't you go into theater? Because I also had like passion for acting because I've been acting for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, okay, if you go into this course, it's not just acting, it's music, it's events, management, events planning a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of things so i now like looked into it and I, okay this makes a lot of sense why don't i just do this and here i am today and then how really much university shaping me well really much university thanks to the people i met there the people that gave me positive energy the negative energy really much university gave me a lot of discipline it taught me a lot and a lot and a lot on this industry in acting in everything and then Another thing that was also like really, really helpful was this, like my last two years leaving school, mm -hmm. I received a lot and a lot of negative energy from a lot of people. I mean, it's no. <laughs> and then this thing gave me like motivation to keep doing, to keep pushing hard. Mm -hmm. So many people were like, oh, this guy is a, is a dead guy. He doesn't know how to do this. He doesn't know. So when I hear stuff like that, okay, this guy cannot do this. I'll not go and do it. And then i'll now do it and do it very well so like it gave me that ginger like okay you, you have to prove this people wrong that you are not just any guy that like you are kenny aj and then so that was one thing that really like shaped me and gave me the motivation you, know? mm. you guys me i understand where he's coming from of course i do have one story one a little bit touching story and it happened to both of us at the same time. I think I know what you want to say, but ah! we have to be careful. We have it. to be careful. <laughs> but don't worry, we're going to say it in a way that it's not going to be. Okay. You okay. guys, we just felt bad. 
We are supposed to go for convocation play. Please don't bring any story to you. We are supposed to go for convocation play. Please don't we bring any story of we didn't go. the past thing to you. We didn't go. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Really. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. You people that know, you know what we are talking yeah, about. Yeah, I wish I did. <laughs> okay, um, so... Now, what to ask? Th- those ones were that, like, yeah. those were like stuff that made you harder. So, now, can you like share some memorable experience that you had as an actor and also in school or like while studying theater yeah. art? Let me say this from outside. Aside from inside school, yeah, uh-huh. <clears throat> I've also worked with like professional actors and people in the Hollywood standard outside and then. These people have like really impacted a lot of industry knowledge on me. They've taught me discipline, shown me how it is to work in the industry. They've shown me that, okay, everybody is a colleague. They've shown me discipline. Mm -hmm. And then working with these people, they've they've really taught me a lot. They've shown me that, okay, do, you have to do better than the way you are. And an experience I'll never forget was one time in Abuja when I went for an audition. I initially, I'm not a fan of audition because I used to be very shy. Mm-hmm. So somebody told me that okay, there's this audition here. Why don't you try your luck? And I saw people going for the audition. They were like, "Oh, we're going to crush you." So I just went, okay, let me just look. Then I just saw people doing their own. I just said, let me just give it a try. And then I gave it a try. And then apparently the judges now even they all stood up for me. One of the judges even gave me money. It was like, okay, you, you are the first and the best actor that I've seen in all this audition. And I was the last person to do the audition. So. That just gave me like the motivation to keep pushing and all. And then <clears throat> one thing, an experience too that I wouldn't forget was the bad clashes I've gotten from like directors and all. As an actor, you have to embrace bad clashes. You have to be disciplined. They will insult you. They will tell you a lot of rubbish. They, will, they don't care about your feelings. Mm-hmm. So that's you too. They're just words. Don't take it to heart. Whatever your director says, learn how to collect insults. You are stupid. Yes, I'm stupid. You are mad. Yes, I'm mad. You don't know how to do you this rubbish. Yes, I did rubbish. Yeah, just remember, you, Mr. You, <laughs> <laughs> you need to put all those things in your head. and Because you meet it outside. You uh-huh. meet it a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot outside. And then because of that, you don't have to now take it to us, give us the option. So that's, sure. that's basically it. Okay. 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 So my next question is, what has been the most challenging role so far like that they've given you and like how did you manage to like approach that role well two times actually one in school and one outside school mm-hmm. the one in school the i didn't even know i didn't even know anything about the play mm-hmm. the character that was supposed to go on stage <clears throat> he had an incident and then he fell sick mm-hmm. the night before the performance so like a few hours to the performance i just came into the theater he just told me oh this actor this happened to him come and take up the role and it was a very challenging role a yoruba god so you know how it takes a lot of research and a lot of so mm-hmm. i had to do makeup i had to plait my hair i had to do so many things so while the makeup artists and the other people were taking care of me i was just working with other characters around me mm-hmm. looking at the script you know and to get the whole lines of the whole script is it's a lot in just a few hours to the performance so it was really challenging for me and when i did it like i knew that okay i've done something like i've done something powerful mm-hmm. when i carried out the role, i even felt that okay i actually i actually killed this role even mm-hmm. though i used like how many hours to prepare for this i knew that okay this was i had to reblock the whole fights the whole movement everything and then it came out and then the other one was um in abuja a production i did i was given the role of a character initially then i missed rehearsal because it was my birthday and these people as i was saying you have to be disciplined these people did not care that okay it was my birthday they removed me from the role they gave me another one initially after days into the rehearsal i had to take off the script do the whole thing again so it took me a while before i could get it then a few days did the production again they removed me from that role then they gave me another role initially so like it was really frustrating for me mm-hmm. like okay why am i doing this why are you doing this to me mm-hmm. but then it's it's 
shaping me it's made me like the director even recognized me after everything that okay what you have done is really is really nice you know so that was also an experience you guys honestly imagine they remove they, they give you a role they remove you they give another role they, they remove, remove you, you. <laughs> they remove you yeah god knows my patience can never work kenny kenny really needs to be studied if, honestly if you want to like continue you have to be disciplined you have to that's true collect all of this you have to collect the bad boys so that when you're saying your story your story is a bit sweet really because see, <laughs> back here, i was just looking at that his mouth does move you move i just they look and they nod head but that's nice but you guys out of topic though have you seen when kenny takes his head when he asks like, all these gods, all this is red thing, just you now put carries. What's oh. that? <laughs> you guys, you fall in love with that character because like the character will be so you see them, you will not look oh, have you seen Kenny Sparks? I beg. No, no, no. <laughs> guys. The one time Kenny acted as King eh, and then he was fighting another Bro, character and he's like, no, that he was going to be so much. Like, mm. <laughs> 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 that, that. <laughs> that was that was that was a lot of people. You guys should always be praying to meet Kenny on stage. Yes, don't pray to meet Kenny. TV pray for screen. Kenny to go up. Oh. Mm. Yes, now like just here we're gonna have to watch life. this guy because he's too good. Anyways, you guys. So my next question. Still about roles. What kind of roles are you most passionate about playing? Well, as an actor, yeah. You have to be dynamic you have to have the knowledge of like different different characters mm -hmm. i like challenging roles that will make me discover a new kenny that i've not discovered mm -hmm. but aside from that i also like action roles like all those fighting fighting <laughs> all those serious roles mm -hmm. i'm not really a fan of being a comical character because I, I can do it. I don't. I've done it multiple times, but uh -huh. I'm not really a fan. But I like serious roles where they challenge me and I get to do crazy things. What is God, King, Warrior? That kind of thing. <laughs> okay, okay. You guys heard Kenny loves challenging. Roles. So if you see Kenny and you want Kenny to be on your set, you must have plenty money. You have money. You know, you know, we press money. <laughs> can I press money, <laughs> Claire? Claire. <laughs> okay 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 so my next question is what do you think about the current state of the nigerian film industry particularly Marywood. okay the nigerian film industry i have a positive um feeling about it and i also have a negative side about it okay. the nigerian film industry compared to what we used to see before and now is is taking over the, the, the movie space. Mm. Nigerian film industry, I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing right now that's coming up. These directors, these actors, these filmmakers are really creative and they are doing a lot right now. Mm. The film space, they've, they've gone far and you see a lot of research, a lot of money being spent into the movies that they produce and we didn't used to see this before but now we are seeing it and is, is getting really awesome that we're even getting international audience now mm -hmm. you see the cinemas and other theaters outside the country showing our movies and all it's really it's really it's really nice but one thing i have a problem of nollywood is we keep seeing the same people over and over and over and over and over there's no space for like the new you see a lot mm -hmm. of creative people that yeah. Independently, they show out their movies and all, and it's really mind blowing. But the space for like new creatives, okay. they don't bring here, and then they bring a lot of people that I don't see. I don't really see this outside, but they bring a lot of people that are not in the industry to come and showcase in the industry. Mm. Which at times is calm. It's good to sell your movie, but there is this movie. I'm not going to say anything, so I'm not putting myself in trouble. <laughs> the producer does park stars inside the film. He puts celebrity, he puts comedian, he puts this one, he puts this one, he puts this one. Mm -hmm. I was, yes, it's nice. You like to see your, your favorite, favorite celebrity inside, but it was rubbish. It didn't make any sense. The storyline was not okay. Those pack stars inside. Because there could be other people who, that could yeah. have done better. Or even if you had a better story. Yes, you can put stars inside, but these people should have 
knowledge of acting. Some of these people don't know how to act. They just show us what they usually do and it's wrong. Another problem is they either give us the same story, different characters, or the same characters, different story. Oh, I don't, do you understand yes, what I'm trying to yes. say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So first of all, I give kudos to Nigerian producers, Nigerian directors, actors, yeah. But then, for real, I feel like actually give us chance. I mean, well, it's not their fault too. It's not their fault too. But we then, too, we should also show ourselves out there. People show themselves. Because, you know, you know, people show themselves. Like yeah, there's right. some, there's some um, stars now or celebrities that. They, 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 they know what you can do, but then at the same time, some people might not want you to overshadow them. Yeah, you know, there are a lot of people that they're like, ah, is this guy, is this person entered? <coughs> nah. You just made me remember something. Some of these people too, they will see your potential and then they will just want to rip you. They just want to use you and then at the end of the day, just throw you. I've experienced something like that before in my 200 level. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to mention names, but this happened in. I don't even if I if I say the state, it happened in fingers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, I know. So this happened. The person called me. Okay, I want you to do this work for me. This, 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 this. The person just used me at the end of the day. See, today that's the work I did for the person is what the person is using now to earn a living. And then at the end of the day, the person just Christian puts me on one side. And at the same time, it's part of the experience. You need Learn. to experience. So you, I, I've learned a lot, and I know that okay, it's not just anything you see that you just jump into. I just. Act. The movie space can be very, for the industry itself, the entertainment space can be very crazy. Mm. Yeah. So guys, basically, know your worth. Can you know your worth now? I know my worth. <laughs> 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 you guys know your worth. Know that you're really worth it. Don't like money to do you. Mago, 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 mago. If that person is come, that person, this is stand on business. Don't do anything that is not signed. Yes. Because... They will run the streets. They will, they will do you room. They will just leave you there and you have nowhere to go. So. But at the same time, also be willing to do things for free for people because free work at times brings connection. Yes. I don't do free work and I will still do free work. Free work brings connection. You don't know who you will make and go. Yes. There should be a limit. There should be a limit. Yeah. <coughs> okay, guys. So my next question is Do you have an aspiration to work internationally Definitely. or is your focus primarily on Nigerian markets? Anyhow, even if not to do what's this thing called? <laughs> what <is> no. <laughs> Get this one. Indian Z word. <laughs> if not to do um, I do I don't I don't mind being international. I, mm -hmm. I want to be international of Everybody course. Wants to be international. Everybody wants to be international. You don't want to keep yeah. staying here. Like you want to go, go out higher. of your space, exactly. Yes. That's good. See, you should learn from Kenya. Don't say, oh, because you're in Nigeria, you don't want to stay here. If you know you have potentials, allow that potential to take you around the world. Just like Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, okay. So, my next question is, how do you stay motivated and, control and continue to grow as an actor? Well... <clears throat> my motivation comes from the Lord. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How I stay motivated, I sometimes talk to God and mm. the motivation comes. Sometimes I speak with my parents. And Support then system. My parents, uh, shout out to my parents for you. Mommy Kenny and Daddy Kenny. <laughs> Another one is I have like my guys, my guys, like you know, that I don't want to disappoint. And anytime the thought of them comes to my mind, I'm like, Omo, why did they why did they do like this? Stand up, Jerry, come back on your feet. You need to you need to show these people who you are. Yes. So that kind of thing. Yeah, you see, yeah, come on, let me. You guys. <laughs> let me show you your name. You say like me, you say like you. You guys. OG. Call me Kenny's OG. OG before I do. <laughs> Savvy. <laughs> okay, guys, you guys see. What keeps Kenny motivated is God. First of all, it is God. And then he has his parents. Parents, always, you know, support your children. Whatever they do, don't force them to do something they don't want to do. Like Kenny's daddy supported him 
told him you can actually study theater at Steve Kenny is now global. Global. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, my next question is, do you have any upcoming projects that you're particularly <coughs> excited about, particularly excited Well, about? yes, the first, is it the first week or second week of September? Mm -hmm. There's a movie production I have in um, Ogun State. Hi! Yes, yeah, so I'm excited to see, uh, for a few days I'll be there. I'm excited to meet new people, to mm -hmm. work with a new, to go to a new location, do different, different things. So, yeah. Wow, you guys. I already said, can we be star? Abuja, Ibadan, Oshu State, Lagos, <laughs> Ogun State. Um, where? Nakoja. Ah! You guys, <laughs> you guys, this is the real deal. You snooze, you lose. Can you? Now what for? Now what for you? Now Please put me you? in your box. I beg you. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. My next question is. Where do you see yourself in the next five years in your acting career? Well, I see myself. I have like even answer that question. I don't know how to answer that question. I don't know how to answer that question. Mm. I have so many things in mind to do, which I would start carrying them on mm -hmm. very soon. Where I see myself, I see myself in, to an extent, to have moved like rapidly in the movie space and in the entertainment industry. Because mm. I need to remind myself I'm not playing. Because me, five years ago, me now, there's a huge, there's a huge, yeah. Saying, like, you see me? No, you don't. Me in <laughs> 200 level. Ah, now, this there's, there's a huge difference. It's most so popular. I see myself going, because every day I keep doing things to make myself better. Yes. You know, so I see myself in a better space. And maybe not where I want to be yet, but... Where you will you be, Sha? Where I want to be. Think I'm... To be so you guys think Kenny is one of the most talented people I know and he's like multi-talented. Because I, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've been talking about oh Kenny is an actor, Kenny is just an actor. Kenny is not just an actor. Yes, I'm saying oh Kenny is this, Kenny is that. You guys, huh? Kenny is an actor. Kenny is an MC. Kenny is an hype man. Only Red Bull ambassador. Wings. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you guys. If I don't enter Kenny's handbag today, <laughs> let me know what cost is it. You guys, Kenny is just that guy. And you have to love Kenny. If you don't love Kenny, Walai, you're just hating. You're just trying to be a hater. Uh -uh. Not everybody can love you. Man. Ah, everybody must love you. <laughs> oh, God. Kenny is like vibes on vibes. Let's say in our department now, I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm moving away, but like, let me just talk small. Let's say we're doing gyration or something. Let me talk. Let's say we're doing gyration or something. Just can you God. Kenny is a mad drummer. What is drummer said? Instrumentalist. List them. He can do. Am I lying? You're looking at me like I'm lying. You're shy now. You don't look at the camera and tell them. <laughs> you guys, I beg you guys, bad. He's too bad. So, like, really, if you don't like Kenny, you're just a hater. You probably just want to be like him, and then unfortunately, you're not like him. So, dark. Okay. You guys, I know you've been having so much fun, but this is my final question. I should shoot. I know you don't want it to end, but I'm sorry. Aside from acting, huh, I actually just spoke about something, but I'm working to talk by himself now because he has been doing as if he's a man that has been talking for me, you know, by being him and stuff like that. <laughs> so he must talk by himself. <coughs> Aside from acting, yeah. do you have any other artistic interests or projects you are pursuing? Well, yes. 
as as you know or as i mean from my personal mm -hmm. experience you know as you know acting is not the only thing i do and i've been doing i don't do so many work <laughs> i've done you know it even i can't i can't say this now because my parents would probably see this i've done illegal business before i've sold some things i'm not supposed to sell don't ask me because i will not answer you nobody's calling aj phones <laughs> that was then so that was then that was like he's a new he's new in christ now was was that even before university i know it to shock them now but there yeah there are other artistic work that i'm looking into I mean, huh. which is like between myself that's a project he's not ready to I know to show you guys screen. yet. I know you guys, you guys will a see. A surprise. It. You can't spoil it's a surprise. I mean, yeah. it will shock you like, oh. like, shock you like, oh my god, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. I think, I think you should give them one more question. Before. One more question. Yeah, yeah. One more question. Ah, if you are enjoying this thing, if you are enjoying this thing. Because they are asking now. Hmm. 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 Can you? Mm -hmm. So. How do you handle pressure? How do you handle pressure of mm. competitive, <coughs> you know, like other competitive um, actors that you've worked with? Like, how do you handle the pressure? Not just actors, pressure, like also like the higher ups, like directors, producers. So not ups. <laughs> <laughs> like directors, producers. Like, yeah. how do you, like, how, if they want to, like, down your well, neck. That's the thing. I don't see myself in a competition with anybody. Ah! I tell you, say this boy get pride. <laughs> <laughs> I see myself in a competition with myself. Wow. So it's me and myself. What? We are doing this. Do better than this. We've done better than this. Do better than this. Ah! We've done better than that. We do the best. So I don't see. Okay. I don't see myself because you can never be like. You are yourself. Mm -hmm. You are your own brand. You yeah. Build yourself. You become what you want to be. So I don't see myself in a competition. That's why I'll never have bad blood or mm -hmm. beef with anybody. You do this. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I do this too. You've done this. Oh, this is really nice. I do my own. Too. So that's basically it. Don't. My mindset is not okay. I must compete with this. I must compete. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's competition. Yeah. But the only competition I know is competition with okay. myself, not competition with any other person. You guys, as you can see, that's why he keeps growing. That's why he keeps going higher because, like, he don't see no competition. Like, Android. he don't see you as a competition. If you think you're getting competition, talk. You're just fighting with yourself at that point. Like, this guy, he's only focused on himself. Like, he needs to grow himself, and he has been growing himself. I need to learn from you. I need to learn from you too. Oh, stop! <laughs> I'm <laughs> You guys. Kenny is a very good friend. Now I'm skipping. You know, sometimes then when I see my friends, I like to be very happy with like how far they've come. And <coughs> since when I've been with Kenny, I can really say he has come a very long way. Challenges, obstacles. I still the same people like challenges, obstacles, ops. The real ops. Nah, this boy he has fought a lot of demons. So. He yeah, is right. <laughs> demons, though, like he has fought demons and he has damaged those demons. Like he has kept those people in their places. So, like, if he's going higher, you already know that that higher that is going, he already works for it. Like he had done what he's supposed to do, and he's still going to keep doing because, like, this is not even the end. This is not even the starting point here. Like he's going on, but he has not even started. You guys. Mm -hmm. You have to stay tuned for Kenny. Anyways, my babies, I know you love for Kenny and I to still stay. Because I know, see, there's no how you're not telling me you're watching this time. You're not like this. Like, <laughs> you have to because it's sweet. Like, you <coughs> need to do that. But, like, you guys, I'm so sorry. This will have to be the end of Chronicles, Kenny, mm. and Mandy. So guys, before you end it, <laughs> if you end it like this, so, so many people will come back and miss me and fight. Okay. So we need to give a shout out to some people. Alrighty. And those who don't give them shout out will be in a lot of trouble. 
to shout out to Chibs first. Shout out to Victor. <laughs> shout out to Controller because Controller is Esther. <laughs> shout out to Controller. Shout out to Tonido. You don't know Tonido. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Shout out to all of you guys. I mean, all of you. My cartel. You know. Shout out to Doctor Babs. Ah, Doctor Babs. <laughs> the real music, like music, capital letter on its own. You guys, if you ever see Doctor Babs production, eh, that man's production, see, it's always the best. Doctor Babs made me who I am today. Doctor Babs, we love you. Doctor Babs, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning. Kenny is already leaving, so. I'm still Kenny here. Has left. I'm not already leaving. <laughs> Sorry. <time>. Kenny has boom. <laughs> Me, I'm still here. The next year. Anyways, guys, you see, if you want us to give you a shout out, you need to be a part of our lives. Really? <laughs> you need to help us accomplish our goals because these people they've been standing. But then like, these are like Kenny's main people that I also know and that are still my people, but See, if I shout out, then you go full this room. Yeah, you know? I don't even shout out to you. Still, <laughs> I said, <'cause... laughs> you go full. Like, you start hearing this. You see us. Why do you not give me shout out? Why do you not give me shout out? I'm no, no, sorry, no. guys. Can you, can you say I apologize? For you, I'm giving you a shout out. You. You, you. you know yourself. You, exactly. You're smiling. You're smiling. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I'm really sure you guys had fun. I'm so I'm so sad I'm about to end this video, but like <laughs> because it's sweet. I know you guys even know even though it's sweet. <laughs> okay, my babies, this video is officially coming to an end. I love you guys to like, share with AJ's fonts, share, <laughs> subscribe, like click that subscribe button, that like button, share. You know, guys, and the next time you're going to see me is definitely with a new looking person. And then, if you still want Kenny to be on this show, comment section. If you love me and Kenny's vibe, comment section, okay? Still don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day, night. Whichever it is. Mwah. Bye.